that episode of Lovecraft Country was absolutely glorious, everyone. Like, to the point where I am smiling just talking about it. The acting in this episode was so, 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 so good. I mean, Journey Smollett and Jonathan Majors together was amazing. We get to a point in the episode where Letty and Tick get into a fight. And just the way they elevate and the acting in that piece is just so good like talk about losing yourself in the acting this was an incredible job by both actors spoiler warning i am gonna dive into spoilers on this one and i apologize i know i've been doing no spoilers but this time i want to dive deep into the spoilers because a lot happened in this episode first and foremost we've got possibly two or three people who are immortal i mean we've got christina who we see get roped up by a by a, a wire and thrown into water she very much dies in the way that Emmett Till did she came back from the dead and didn't end up dying so she is immortal Jonathan Major's character Tick he was saved by a monstrous creature from a bullet from an officer so he's not really dead or he's immortal and of course Letty is deflected by bullets because of Christina's spell so she's also immortal a lot goes on this episode Christina basically teaches Tick how to cast a spell how to be an immortal or at least in his case it's a different kind of spell I know for Letty she actually brands her with a spell where her her uh, child will will be protected so she is protected from death and we get back to the horror of racism like we get back to that horror in this episode we see D mistreated by some police officers they're looking for a mom Hippolyta she has no idea where she is and they like cast a spell on her Part of me is starting to wonder how many people know magic because, geez, it's like, all right, you've got Christina, you've got the Braithwaites. I kind of thought they were the only ones that knew the magic, but this police officer also knew how to cast a spell on D, which poor D throughout this episode is haunted by these Bobo the Clown looking evil, scary, like two chicks that are just haunting her the whole time and they're incredibly scary. I do not like evil clowns, so this definitely uh, had me at the edge of my seat, but she is haunted in this episode and also we have Tick using a spell with his father, which ended up working, and then we have Letty confronting not only Christina, but also confronting Gia. You remember her from a couple episodes back? Yeah, she's here. She's talking about Tick's death, and Tick doesn't want to die, and he has actually traveled to the future from the last episode when he went into the same device as Hippolyta. So, I mean, there was a lot going on in this episode, but I just gotta say, the acting in this episode is absolutely incredible. I'm glad to see we're back in it with Tick and Letty and you know last episode kind of went a little far off for me but after thinking about it a little bit I love the meaning of last episode and what it meant to be a black woman so I love that episode and I really really like this episode I mean I'm back in the series I honestly like all of the episodes probably except for two and the the museum one but the, besides that I have thoroughly enjoyed this series this episode is no exception this is a great episode one of my favorites, we're back again. It seems like every other episode I pick up and I'm like, wow, I like it so much. And we learn a little bit. We learn that Gia is actually a nine-tailed fox. I mean, I want to say they specify that in the uh, the episode, what are we on now? Eight, at the, episode six, but I didn't pick up on that. So I apologize on that, but there is a nine-tailed fox. She is the nine-tailed fox. Now, Letty figures out about that, and it leads to a fight, and they just elevate so much, and that's what I was talking about earlier in the review, that I loved how much they elevated in this episode, like, Journey Smollett and Jonathan Majors, this was their episode, they did a fantastic job together, I want to see more episodes with the two of them, and we also get a cool moment between Michael K. Williams and Jonathan Majors, get some cool moments with them in this episode, I want to see more of that trio, you know, I Michael K. Williams, Jonathan Majors, and Journey Smollett, their characters are this trio. I want to see more of them, and I was so glad to see a lot of them in this episode. And we also get a scene where Ruby is treated horribly because she's black and this is the 50s and Christina as William like comes up and saves her and you can tell that eats away that away at her and she hates the fact that she has to be essentially whisked away by a white man it, it sucks and you know the horror of racism returns pretty heavy in this episode and that's kind of the dynamic I really like the most I think the extraterrestrial stuff is cool but I think the realistic nature of this series really 
really hits it home for me and it really just it's really realistic in depicting the time and the race relations at the time so i really like this episode huge huge fan of both journey smollett and jonathan majors they killed it this episode you guys let me know though down in the comments what did you think of this episode what am i leaving out of this review what did you think guys let me know because this was a crazy episode we'll see you next time on geek the goods guys